How to use shaper tool in Adobe Illustrator? Just roughly draw your line. You will get exact line. Same way you can roughly create your shape. You will get exact shape. So now we will try for polygon. Yes, we will get it back as polygon. So this is how we can use shape and tool in Adobe Illustrator. Just three types of gradients. First, double click on your gradient tool, you will get gradient option. Then double click on the node, you will get color option. You can customize your own color. Also on the slider, you can add or delete many nodes and replace your own color as well. Now I select this again box, pick the old color by eyedropper, this time I swap to radial gradient. Same as previous one, you can change the node. This time I go for freeform gradient. Here directly you can replace the color on this spot. Also you can create your own line to add custom colors. This is how you can use gradient in Adobe Illustrator. This is the tips about brush. This is default brush. Now we are going to create our custom brush. Just I create a circle. Then use any tool here. I use crystallize tool. Then convert your shape as you like. Then make it your shape smaller. Now add into the brush. Select our brush. Direction is right and here the middle option then delete your shape after that select smaller stroke size then you can do your painting right click on the text create outline then apply your brush so this is how you can create your own brush in Adobe Illustrator one of my favorite tool just this stroke Then choose your width tool. Now you can directly you can adjust the stroke width at the end, or you can add any middle of the stroke. If you hold Alt key, you can control your stroke with any one direction. By this tool, we are going to change this basic line art to like calligraphic style. So this is how you can change your basic line art to calligraphic style art. First rectangle create and then make the corner to rounded by the direct selection tool. Then I create one more rectangle, change to another color and hold Alt key, make duplicate and Ctrl D you will get duplicate again. Then select my shape, go to brush new brush this time I choose art brush then I draw my shape and select my created art brush now I copy this one and paste in place and again change to normal brush and increase stroke size then go to filter, blur and Gaussian blur. Then adjust the blur value. So this is how we can give depth to our design. Important of offset path. We have separate text here. Select all those things then create outline.
then I select the first text, go to object, path and offset path. Here I gave it value 0.5 mm, give it ok, then do the same process for another text. Then right click, ungroup the offset. Then select offset path and type D. Then go to pathfinder, minus it. Now ungroup the type D. Again do the same process for another text offset. So this is how we can use it perfectly offset path in Adobe Illustrator. First I typed a content by type on a path tool. Then go to character baseline shift. Here adjust the value in plus. Then I go to edit, copy and hard paste, paste in front. Then I want to move this duplicate towards right. So I increase the keyboard increment by 1 inch. Now you can move more space by single arrow tab. Then I flip the text towards inside and change the content. Then move it back to original position and this time change baseline shift towards minus value. Also adjust the tracking. So this is how we can use baseline shift option for type on a path text. First to line create program by the line tool. This time no fill color, only stroke color. Go to effect, distort and transform, zigzag. Here give it smooth and adjust size, make it look like wave. Then type your typography, make it little bit bigger. Then hold alt key, you will get duplicate. Then control D, you will duplicate again. So now select your text, go to symbol, add to new symbol. Then delete it, select your line, go to effect, 3D, extrude and bevel. Here adjust the depth and go to map art. Here we have more surfaces. Surface number 6 is top of the shape. Then choose your symbol and turn on invisible geometry. Then rotate your symbol. Then give it OK. Now go to object expand. Then ungroup it twice. Ipo you can select each element separately. Then give it your own color. So this is how you can create your text into wave. So first file up the place put the image place and then rectangle tool at the mal or white box create one that box color should be white then go to object menu path and split it to grid now make your rectangle into grid then give it ok now, so after that I copy this grid then randomly select some boxes and delete it. Again randomly select some boxes and give it your own color. Then go to transparency, change the color mode to color. Now paste the grid previously copied one. This time change green color to stroke. This is how you can create your picture into grid. So just like in our shape create for Nina. So after that select it all, then go to brush, add new brush, now select it pattern brush. Then ok. So Adikapro delete panito on more circle create for Nina. Then only on stroke color, then go to again brush. Apply your last created pattern brush 
and take one more duplicate control c control f then go to stroke again change the stroke size and change the transparency so this is how easily you can create mechanical circuit